All right, guys, so today I'm going to be walking y'all through how to flash your motherboard if it has the flashback flash USB feature. So this is actually going to be my first time doing it, and I figured why not make a video so if anybody else has questions, they can just bada bing, bada boom, see how it's done, and get through it. Now, uh, it's going to vary depending on which motherboard you have. My motherboard is the Asus Tough Gaming B550 Plus. Uh, so first what you're going to need is a USB flash drive. And you're going to plug it into your computer. And it's going to come up down yonder. And it's not going to be named this, it's going to be named something else. First what you got to do is click on that. Go to format and make sure it's in FAT32. For the file. It's not... And FAT32, and it's one of these other ones, just click FAT32, and then you can rename it whatever you want. I just put it as BIOS Flash, just so for simplicity's sake. Then you're going to hit Start, and you go Warning. Everything on the thing is going to get wiped. You're going to say OK. You're going to let it do its thing. And now we are ready to go. Now what we're going to do is open up uh, whatever uh, browser you use and put in the name of your motherboard wherever it is and it should be the first one that comes up should be uh, your manufacturers uh, website click on that you're gonna go to support and this will vary depending on what brand motherboard you have it might be a little bit different but it will be basically what you see here and then you're just going to go to driver and utility, BIOS and firmware, and you're going to hit download. Now, after it downloads, it's going to look like this. We're going to right click it. Uh, we're going to unzip it or extract. And I'm going to extract it into the flash drive. Extract gonna do its thing depending on what flash drive you have it might take longer or it might just be instantaneous and then it's gonna have a BIOS renamer in there we're gonna double click on that it's gonna automatically rename the file and set it up so that it's good to go we're just gonna click enter and then we're just gonna delete the renamer and now it is ready to be plugged in to the motherboard and we will go ahead and swap over to doing that all right guys so we got the motherboard here we have our flash drive that we just set up we have our power supply we have our two our main power for the motherboard and the cpu power which we're gonna have to plug both of these in but first you need to figure out which usb on your motherboard is for the bios now you might have a motherboard that has a plate fixed or one like mine where it's not so you'll just have to line it up how it is on there and find the one that is marked bios which happens to be the second one down here once you lo locate that you can just pop your usb in there and then we're going to hook these cables onto the motherboard now, this is my first time ever hooking cables onto the motherboard so let's hope nothing explodes or goes crazy wow you really gotta push on these bad boys okay he should be in i didn't think you would have to push that hard to get these bad boys in but okay now we're gonna slot these in and then I'm going to technical difficulties here. There we go. Okay, they both snapped in. Both should be good to go. Now we're going to power on the uh, power supply. First we gotta plug it in. And I 
Let's see if any sparks go flying. Okay, we have lights on the motherboard that indicates that it's on. Now all we're going to do is hit our BIOS flashback button and we're going to hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. And now you see we have a flashing light. I uh, Hopefully the camera picks up that little flashing light. Yes, we're picking it up. Okay, so... That... <laughs> Timer camera started. guy, we're way off. All right, so we have that flashing light there. Now, this should take somewhere around three minutes to finish. And uh, you'll know it's done when that light stops flashing. So, we will be back whenever it's done. All right, guys, so you can see now that the light is no longer flashing, and we timed it, and it took us, or it took my system Four minutes and nine seconds. Results may vary, uh, but I believe at this point it's good to go. So we're just gonna switch off the power and then we're gonna start building this bad boy. So hopefully I helped you guys out. I appreciate you guys watching the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.